Welcome, everybody, to Inside the IFL. My name is Todd Tryon. I'm your host of the first edition of the 2023 season. Uh, this weekly show is where I talk about the upcoming games. I talk about uh, some exciting press releases we have coming out. And we have an opportunity to meet some of the coaches and, and players uh, inside the IFL. Uh, it seems like just yesterday we were wrapping up our season uh, down in, in Nevada or down in Henderson, Nevada uh, for the Dollar Loan Center IFL National Championship. Uh, we had the opportunity to see the Northern Arizona Wranglers go from worst to first in a big time win, 47-45, exciting game, exciting weekend uh, against the Quad Cities Steam Wheelers. So as we wrapped up that final game, we quickly turned the page uh, to our 2023 season, our 15th season. We're calling it XV. Uh, we, we've got a great season in store for you guys. Uh, we've worked our butt off all off season to get ready for this week, our opening week of the IFL season. Um, this past off season, we welcomed the Tulsa Oilers uh, into the mix. They cap out off our 14th season. They're going to be an exciting new team there in, in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Uh, they put an outstanding uh, team together, being led by Marvin Jones, uh, former, uh, he was inducted in the NCAA Football Hall of Fame, had an unbelievable NFL career, uh, most recently was with the Omaha Beef, uh, had a chance of winning uh, a championship there with them. Uh, great resume and, and going to be a great team in our league, uh, the Tulsa Oilers. Uh, we also, we had some rule changes going to play. Uh, and in January, we got together, the, our, our board of directors had our annual meeting uh, and was in, inside of that meeting. Uh, we had an objective this year uh, with our game. And, you know, our game is one to speed up the, the pace of play to continue to keep it uh, exciting. Uh, we wanted to eliminate some penalties, uh, unnecessary stoppage in the game. And uh, we also want to recreate uh, more points, opportunity to, to score more points. And so we had multiple rule changes, but the ones that, that really stick out uh, are uh, the deuce. So we had the deuce rule, but you could only kick at the last 60 seconds of each half. And now you're eligible all game. So after you score a touchdown uh, and, and, and you get your extra point, when you're kicking off, you have the opportunity to kick it through the uprights for an, an additional two points. Uh, if you miss, the ball goes to midfield. So it's kind of the consequence of, of, of trying that deuce. Also, as part of that, when you're kicking that deuce, if it hits the uprights or hits the go post, any, anything on that yellow comes back into field to play, it is live ball. Either team can pick it up and advance it. And so it should create some, some interest, interesting uh, excitement uh, in, in involving that kickoff game. Um, a couple other things that, that we adjusted is our game clock, our play clock. Uh, in the past, once the play was over, uh, the official would wait until everybody was set, the down marker set, everything's good to go. Then he starts the 25-second play clock. Well, we, we have changed that. And as soon as the play is done, the ball is spotted, the play clock goes. And so we anticipate more plays happening, a faster pace of action, which should create more points. And in my opinion, a, a great rule change uh, as, as we move forward. And probably the last one was uh, our no positive yardage rule. Uh, at the end of the game, if you're a team that uh, is winning and the, the defending team is trying to stop you in the past, if they stopped you from gaining any yards, uh, it, it, it would stop the clock. Well, here's what we found out. Through our quick ref system, a lot of our unsportsmanlike was happening in that last 60 seconds. You know, in that time where, you know, generally you can kneel on the ball because you've won the game, we're forcing a quarterback to advance the ball, which was opening him for injury, but it was really leading to a lot of chippiness and a lot of unsportsmanlike stoppage of play, penalty yards. We just found it was unnecessary to continue with that. And so uh, we, 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 we went away from that rule. And so those are some of the things uh, as far as the the uh, the changes in play that you'll notice. The other tweaks and, and turns you won't really notice. We uh, adjusted some what you can and can't challenge uh, and, and, and some other just kind of more uh, – just detailed out a few things. Um, a, a, a few other things here in the off season gaming. Uh, I know you guys have been hearing a lot about that. Uh, the ability to bet on games is becoming so much more mainstream and uh, you, there will be live lines available come Friday night, our first game, uh, whether it's a total or a spread or a money line, but we've got a major, 
I'm telling a historic announcement coming this week uh, that's going to advance that. Uh, first in the industry. And we're really excited about it. Uh, ahead of the curve, uh, the future of gaming, and we're all over it. And so that was a a, a, a lot of our off season was, was well, there's a lot of pieces that you got to be putting putting in place. Um, and and we did it. And we're excited to announce that to you guys. So stay tuned this week as a major announcement is coming uh, in in regards to that. Um, a couple other partnerships that that we created, Icon Meals. Uh, it's, it, as we sit here and, and look at how can we further advance, uh, w- what we're providing for our players, what we're providing for our coaches and, and fan food is a big deal. And we want to make sure it's good food and, and not just these coupons at fast food restaurants. And, and so icon meals, they sit here, they're, they're an official partner of the UFC and that they're, they're everywhere when it comes to good nutrition. And uh, you can go online right now, goifl.com. Uh, if you want to try and order some and, and check them out, you can get a 10% discount if, if you mention the IFL. Uh, but it's it's just another step we're trying to take forward uh, in fueling our athletes. A few other things that we've had going uh, in the offseason is it's all building towards this national championship game. Uh, the Dollar Loan Center IFL National Championship, it's in Vegas again. And we are building that thing into an event that you got to be at. Whether you're a player, a coach, uh, a fan, front office, it, we we continue to build the party. This last year we took a great step forward, uh, but we're continuing to build that party. And so it's August 5th coming up, and and uh, we'll have an official hotel sponsor that we're going to be announcing here soon. And then also we've got another little special uh, announcement that we're going to be making that's tied to that national championship game that uh, we've been working hard on that that we're excited. Uh, to, to bring to you, but you're going to have to wait a minute on that one. Um, another uh, partnership that that we worked on was our game time, build your base game time initiative. And uh, that's our community project uh, out in the communities as, as all these teams do a great job with inside of the communities. Build your base is something that uh, is able to add nutrition into the activity. And you'll be seeing a lot about that because we're working hard on it because it's important. Uh, to give back to our community and add nutrition as a component. And uh, our game time initiative is just the way to do it. So enough on that. Let's talk football. Opening weekend, nothing more excited. We have two unbelievable games on tap for you guys. The first one is Friday night. You've got Kevin Guy's Arizona Rattlers loading up the plane and flying into Quad Cities. First time ever going there and taking on uh, the Quad City Steam Wheelers, who is coming off an impressive season. Uh, that is Friday night, 7.05 Central Time. And, uh, you know, we're going to have an interview here with Coach Ross talking a little bit about last year, but more importantly, what to expect this year. And so stay tuned for that here in a little bit. But we also got a second game for you here opening weekend. Sunday afternoon, you got Billy back loading up the Frisco Fighters, number one seed last year, got upset. I know they're hungry, going up to the Green Bay Blizzard uh, to take on Coach Roberson's team. And uh, Coach Roberson, they, they've they been busy here uh, th- this offseason putting what he feels is a championship team together. And so we've got an intriguing game Sunday afternoon. Uh, that's in Green Bay, uh, 3.05 Central Time. So please tune in. Both of them, you can t- tune into YouTube Live to watch those. And coming here next week, there's going to be many more places to view our game and free to you. All right. And stay tuned for that announcement here as, as, uh, as we get into next week's um, inside the IFL. So with that, I'm going to take a quick break here. Uh, check out this commercial on our game time initiative, and uh, we'll be back soon. We at the IFL and our teams have always been involved in supporting the communities that support us. We have been honored to be able to help raise funds for local charities and schools. We've had opportunities to rightfully honor the first responders, the military, teachers, and other heroes of our communities. Our primary focus has been and will continue to be the youth in our local schools and programs. Our players have worked with them on the field of play, read with them in the classroom, and simply spent time with them as friends. We will continue these efforts, but feel it's time to bring nutrition into the fold. Build Your Base is the perfect partner for this edition. For the past five years, the Build Your Base program has been educating and empowering youth, high school, and college athletes to leverage the power of nutrition to support good health and athletic performance. 
Build Your Base will help us include a nutrition-based message into our time with local youth. We'll hold game time events in multiple communities throughout the 2023 season. Events will feature players visiting with local youth to play, visit, and have fun, all while teaching them about food, exercise, and nutrition. In 2023, look for game time events near you, as well as shared information about good health, good food, and good fun. Build Your Base will not just be the IFL's partner. Build Your Base will be our partner in our communities. I want to welcome everybody back back here into our first edition of Inside the IFL. I'm excited today uh, as I got a special interview here. Uh, we're going to be talking to a coach who just came off of a, an unbelievable season last year. And I'm going to go ahead and bring him right in and uh, introduce him here to you guys. Coach Corey Ross is here with us, and he is the head coach there at Quad Cities, who's owned by Doug Bland. And uh, Coach Ross, before I get into some some questions you know, I just want to preface this on you guys are coming off an unbelievable season uh, this past year. Uh, a lot of people don't know that they were dormant for two seasons, two seasons. Coach Ross got them all back together, took them a minute to, to catch their groove. Uh, yeah. they, had, they had to work some miracles just to get into the playoffs. But once they did, it, it was unbelievable to watch. They went up to Massachusetts, knocked off uh, the defending champions in overtime. And then the next weekend went down to Frisco and in dramatic fashion, knocked off the number one seed to get themselves to that IFL national championship game. Uh, Coach Ross, if you would, just tell us a little bit about uh, your last year's experience. And, man, what happened in the postseason for you guys to catch fire? You know, we just got hot. You know, um, our quarterback uh, came in late, and so he just took him a while to get used to uh, uh, some of the players and just, you know, the timing and throws and things like that and whatnot. And um, uh, it's what you talk about uh, in the beginning of the seasons uh, as a coach. You know, uh, at, at some point is it, through this year, you're going to go through some ups and downs. But uh, when you start clicking and when you get hot, if you get hot at the right time, that's leading into the playoffs and, and, and going or leading to the end of the season, going into the playoffs, uh, you can make a big run. And that's exactly what we did. And so you said it there a little bit, you know, you got uh, your, your quarterback, EJ Hilliard there uh, about, I think it was fourth or fifth game came in. And, and, you know, once again, he, he kind of had to get himself in playing shape. But once he did, he was arguably the MVP of the league. Uh, but but was not because as I say it it, it he he did not uh, necessarily start the season off. So what what's it mean going into this season? So as we shift, close the book from last year, uh, an, an unbelievable season. I understand it's unfinished business as, as we go into twenty. Absolutely. <laughs> but what, what what's it mean to have have your uh, your quarterback in camp uh, to get ready for your season opener opener against the Arizona Rattlers? It, it means it, it means a lot. You know, obviously, we know what this this game is about. It's about timing throws and just being able to build chemistry with your playmakers and uh, to have your co your quarterback here from day one through training camp, uh, being able to, you know, not only mentor the receivers in some of the way he likes seeing routes ran so he can make the throws, but also just, you know, being able to be around the, the, the team as a unit and, and, and build that that family that we like to build here in Quad City. So uh, it's been special. It's been a special training camp. Uh, guys have been fighting, been been scratching to make this roster. Got a couple more decisions to make, but uh, it's been special having EJ here, uh, as well as some of the some of the vet receivers that we have, and 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 and, and we're starting to have a nice solid core. Uh, and hopefully, we start fast. You know, you mentioned uh, you know camp camp started for you guys March one. Uh, who are some newcomers and or vets that have really stuck out to you that that we can keep our our eye on here early in the season? I mean, uh, you're you're you're, you're your typical vets here in the Quad City that the, the families and and the, and the city here knows that the uh, Kevin Rudd has had a, a great great training camp. He's he's added some weight to his size and he's also been able to uh, really fine tune some of his route running abilities that he's been able to do in the off season down there in Atlanta working with some top quality guys, some top professionals in the NFL, and he's brought it back and and it's really shown. Um, and then you also have you know the the, the vet the vet there we got out of out of Arizona. Uh, in Jared Harrington, and I mean, he's just special, man. He uh, he elevates the group. He elevates the group, and everybody's playing fast uh, because of the, the competition we have out here. Uh, and then you got obviously some of our other guys. Uh, with Kerrigan returned back. Uh, Lundell Lee came off some injuries, has played well. Uh, we'll see what he looks like. But as far as some newcomers come, we got a, a receiver here named C.J. Uh, Wyndham. 
uh, is having a special camp, uh, and 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 it's, it's special to watch him. And then you know, obviously, there's some some defensive guys that we have. Uh, uh, we shored up the defensive line, and, and and there's some edge rushers there that that there's gonna be some eyes on. You know, Sam Hammett's one of them. Uh, Tavita Manga, we brought back. Uh, uh, you know, big Nacquez Pringle, and uh, we got some guys that that have been around on this team and and, and un understand what we like to do. And uh, it's gonna be exciting. It's gonna be exciting just to see how they how they you know jump into that first game because it's, it's it's coming up against one of the top teams in the league, uh, and it's their first game and 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 for indoors. So you know how that goes. Usually, guys are gonna be winded that first game, not used to how fast this game moves and how fast we score. <laughs> You know, it sounds to me like you've got uh, an experienced roster coming back. You mentioned Jared Harrington. and So Friday night's game, that's the IFL opener in Quad Cities, 7 o'clock kickoff. You're hosting the Arizona Rattlers. I'm sure Harrington's pretty excited about it. Uh, <laughs> give me a reason or get, give the, uh, the group a reason here on why to tune in. YouTube uh, live, it's free to you at 7 p.m. to check out the IFL opener. Well, there's – Number one reason, first and foremost, is you got two of the top quarterbacks in this league, hands down, over the last couple of years, uh, and 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 they're going to compete. And it's the first time that they've played. It's the first time that we've played each other, Arizona Rattlers and and in the uh, Quad City Steam Wheelers. So that's going to be special. Uh, you're going to see some fast, some fast defense. You're going to see some big guys moving around. You're going to see some running the football. Uh, you're going to see some scoring. That's just what it's going to be. And uh, we're excited. You were excited out here in Quad City. I know our fan base is excited. Uh, I hope Hopefully, we're trying to try to see where our sellout goes. Hopefully, we get our fans out there. But tune in live YouTube because this is going to be a game to watch. And uh, this is going to—I think this game is going to set the tone of what the IFL is going to be looking like uh, with the competition we have around this league. Coach, you couldn't have said it, said it best. 7 p.m. Friday, it's our opener. It's the Arizona Rattlers traveling traveling to Quad Cities. If you've not got your ticket yet, get your ticket before there's not Come one on available. Now. You know, I know Coach Ross is, is going to have his team ready. Uh, they got some unfinished business going into 2023. And uh, we as fans, we all look forward to watching it. And so, Coach Ross, I appreciate your time. And I know you got some work to get back to. Uh, Absolutely. Thank you for joining our first episode of Inside the IFL. And uh, we'll talk to you soon, Coach. Pre appreciate you. Refuse to sink. Go Steam Wheelers, baby. Refuse to sink. I love it. Coach Ross, we'll be talking to you soon. Thank you, buddy. And there you have it, uh, Coach Ross. I know he's getting his team ready. Coach Guy, uh, he'll be loading up the plane on Thursday and traveling to uh, Moline, Illinois for the first time ever. Uh, we're looking forward to, to watching that. But that's not our only game for the weekend. Uh, we got a second one in store for you. And uh, that second one is Frisco is traveling up to Green Bay uh, to take on the Blizzard Sunday afternoon at 3 o'clock p.m. Central. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about that game here in a little bit. Um, so stay tuned. We'll talk soon. And there you have it, uh, Coach Ross. I know he has, he's going to have his team ready to play, but Coach Kevin Guy, never rule him out. Uh, 30 years of dominance coming up to uh, Moline, Illinois, Friday night, uh, looking forward to watching that game. But that's not the only game we have in store for you this weekend. As I talked about earlier, we have got the Frisco Fighters going up to uh, the Green Bay Blizzard. I got the opportunity to, to go up to Green Bay this Sunday afternoon uh, to check out my first game ever in Green Bay, and it is going to be a great one. And as always, both games will be live to you guys free on YouTube. There's going to be more places to watch that, but this weekend we're YouTube live, so please check it out. And so that concludes our first episode of Inside the IFL for 2023. Very excited to get things kicked off. We've worked hard. We think the broadcasts are going to be are going to be great. We think you're going to love it. And uh, our XV season, season 15, 2023, is going to be one to remember. And everybody is fighting and working towards August 5th down in Henderson, Nevada. So thanks a lot for tuning in. We'll see you next week on Inside the IFL.